اسلامی تل آوی و حیفا رو با خاک یکسان خواهد کرد Iran will turn Tel Aviv and Haifa into ashes. That is an Iranian propaganda video envisioning what an Iranian attack on Israel would look like. Look, the special effects leave something to be desired. That's not a Hollywood quality video, but it shows their intentions and that they believe they have the ability. Well, someone who studies Iran very closely, not just in the English language, but in Arabic and in the Farsi language they speak, is our next guest. You know him well. He's Lieutenant Colonel retired of the Israeli Defense Forces, Jonathan Alevi. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. Now that visual image, I mean, it couldn't be more blunt. They're saying Israel, one false move, we're going to attack you, and they're implying they have the technology with the drones. Here's the question: I, I'm certain they have the desire. Do they have the ability to do an attack like that? Yes, and they, um, the military industry in Iran is part of the jihad, the global jihad, exporting, exporting the Islamic revolution. And they spend a lot of money and a lot of efforts in building uh, um, the military uh, forces. And that's it being translated into a huge military industry that, manuf uh, that manufactures uh, um, airplanes, uh, drones, uh, uh, tanks, uh, ships uh, for the Navy, and uh, also um, missiles. Now, the world has been focused on their nuclear programs, and that's the, the subject of negotiations next week in Vienna. But has there been any uh, focus on these, I mean, drones, the, the imagery of the drones they use there are fairly sophisticated. You brought a video uh, in the Persian language. This was on state-run, basically the Iranian CBC. Let's take a look at that now, boasting about some of these other technologies that haven't had the same scrutiny. Take a look at this. تصاویر هم قدرت پدافندی ما را نشان می‌دهد. در این مقابله با هواپیماهای استراتژیک برده بلند و موشک‌های بالستیک و نیمه بالستیک و می‌تونه بر علیه تهاجمی از حملات در حقیقت استفاده Now, listen, it's hard to tell the quality of the technology just from the outside, but do we know how good this weaponry is? Are they cooperating with countries like China and Russia who do have mm -hmm. American quality uh, military equipment? Yeah, we can see the achievement of the Iranian technology in the nuclear, faci in nuclear facilities. You can see it in building satellites, and you can see it in, in, in weapons. And, uh, and what this is goes hand with hand with the nuclear, nuclear program of Iran. And why it is important? Because the military, the conventional forces, are the main tool in order to reach the goal of regional hegemony in, in the area. And that is crucial for Iranian uh, policy. Now, you brought one more video clip. We'll talk over it because there's no sound. Uh, here are some other weapons that Iran is showing off. And some of this surprised me because I sort of thought they were a little bit backwards, like maybe Saddam Hussein. Like this drone here, that looks like a, the Predator drone, I think, that the U.S. Yes, they have combat drones. They the combat drones, they can be uh, equipped with uh, four missiles. Like, I, I bet most folks don't know that Iran has drones that can fire missiles, or like this, the Khalid Fars, and now that, that submarine at the bottom of the screen there, the banner's mm -hmm. blocking right now, but yes. it, it looks a little bit rinky-dink, but this is a fast attack yes. ship here for scooting around in the Persian yes. Gulf. That's a serious missile. Yes. That's a serious, and the, the, I want to show there's airplane, like that, yes. That, I wouldn't put that on the leading edge of technology. That's actually an American mm -hmm. uh, plane. But that's, that's a Super Crowbar track helicopter that was sold to them. And has that been updated with... Yes, it has been updated. And this the, ship the, here. This like ship. That's a serious warship. Yes. And they uh, focus on the capabilities uh, of damaging and attacking the American interest in the Persian, in the Persian Gulf well, itself. Like, like what does that mean? So now they showed the video of them attacking Tel Aviv and Haifa. Yes. That's in Israel. Mm -hmm. But what would the American interests in the mm -hmm. Gulf be? Who would these things be built to attack? By the way, the, sim the simulation also deals with attacking uh, aircraft carrier, American. Oh, yes. really? Yes. And you can see that if you combine the intentions and combi combine with the capabilities, it may be remind us the attack on Pearl Harbor because they have the capability with the submarine, with major submarine, with the missiles. So the fact that that was a dinky little submarine, mm -hmm. That's not a disadvantage if it's to sneak in mm -hmm. and maybe even be a suicide run. Yes, that, that's, that's exactly. That's how the Japanese did it. Yes. Now, you say Pearl Harbor. Is there, are, are there, uh, how many ships would there be in that? I mean, the Persian Gulf is a pretty small place. Um, 
I mean, you start firing missiles yes. around there, there's not a lot of layers to intercept no. it. Do and, you really and, think and they could take out an American aircraft carrier? I think that because the uh, um, the uh, the Gulf the uh, uh, the Gulf itself is very narrow and they control the uh, Homo Strait, they can they have the advantage. So if they uh, want to uh, inflict a, a real and severe damage to the American naval, they can do it. You know, you mentioned the Pearl Harbor precedent. Mm -hmm. Pearl Harbor was in American territory, thousands of miles away. They had to have the element of surprise. Mm -hmm. But here, like you say, the Iranians control the mm -hmm. Straits of Hormuz. It's tiny. Yes. You don't really need to get all the way over in secret because you're right there. Mm -hmm. um, if you just get through a, a couple of those layers, I mean, those, that little speedboat and those predator drones. You, you launch 100 drones at an American aircraft mm -hmm. carrier, many, maybe one or two of them are going to get lucky. One of the destroyers, American destroyers, were atta was attacked in Yemen, if you remember, by... Uh, the USS Cole. Yeah, uh, USS Cole. And, the, and was that a little suicide uh, yes. tiny boat? Yes, exactly. And the, uh, the Pearl Harbor attack started with a midget submarine, and that's exactly what the Iranians are building. Huh. Wow. It's nice to have you on the show. Thanks for this other side. We've been talking about Iranian nukes, but these conventional weapons, frankly, are just as scary. Thanks for being here.